Ready to game the system? Meet Mana. You slay. You achieve. You win. So should your bank account. Because your power shouldn't stop when the game does. Mana is the best gaming rewards debit card where you can earn perks and points by paying and playing and get rewarded with the things you actually want. Like that skin you can't wait to show off. Or your next gear upgrade. So why pay any other way? Pay with mana. Pay with power. Mana. Game the system. Hello, everybody. I'm Doug Cockle, though you might know me best from CD Projekt Red's beloved Witcher trilogy, where I voice the original bath-taking monster slayer, Geralt of Rivia. Now, we've got a great show for you today, but I'm not hosting it alone. Oh, no. Now, I'd like to introduce you to somebody who's been with Geralt through thick and thin, from mountains high to valleys low, and the occasional thatched roof. Of course, I'm referring to the incomparable, gravity-defying Roach. Wait a second, you thought that you were hosting a video game showcase with a horse? <laughs> I was a little confused when they sent me the brief, but uh, this actually makes a lot more sense. Lovely to see you again, Denise. Hello everyone, my name is Denise Goff, and I voice the powerful sorceress Yennefer or Vingeberg in The Witcher 3. But today... This is the Future Games Show, powered by Mana. And we're going to treat you to over an hour of exclusive trailers for upcoming video games. Now you'll be able to find and wishlist all of the games from today's show on the Future Games Show Steam page. And you can head on over to gamesradar.com to read more about them. Let's kick things off with our first world premiere, shall we? That was Outpost, which is a working title. Wishlist at the ready, as it's coming soon to PC. Next up, we've got a psychological horror game that explores grief and loss in a familiar environment. Peggy 18. Well, there's an old saying about this place called hell, where bad people go to after they're dead, have to die. But the worst part about hell is not the flames, it's the hopelessness. And I think that is the part of hell that a person in depression really takes.
Bluto is coming to PlayStation and PC in 2022. Now here's Inflection Games' Aaron Flynn to tell you more about the studio's debut game, Nightingale. Ever since the day the portal network collapsed, stranding us in these realms, we have searched for a way home. Hello, I'm Aaron Flynn, CEO of Inflection Games, the developer of Nightingale, a shared world survival crafting game set in a rich, gas lamp fantasy universe. You may have seen our latest gameplay trailer during Summer Game Fest Live this week. In that footage, we revealed the Realm Card system, a key mechanic in our game that allows players to access the portal network and explore the magical Fey Realms. We wanted to take this opportunity today to walk you through how the system works in a little bit more detail. As a Realm Walker, stranded in a mysterious and deadly new world, the Realm Cards are a way to access other realms. Players craft Realm Cards using magical materials they find in the environment, and those cards are then used to activate portals, which will then connect you to one of the many possible realms that exist in the Fey universe. Each card has different properties, like modifiers, that determine different elements of the realm that players connect to, whether that's new environments, the types of creatures, weather patterns, or how rich in a particular resource a realm might be. Players can combine multiple cards, expanding the possibilities of each new destination. In creating the Realm Card system, we not only wanted to offer a way for players to discover everything that the realms have to offer, but also empower players with the ability to influence and control the nature of the realms that they explore. This, paired with a sophisticated procedural generation system, makes the possibilities for adventure across the Fey Realms almost limitless. We love the choice this offers players, and no shortage of combinations to experiment with and learn. Will you find a realm overrun with dangerous creatures? or a tranquil place where you can catch your breath? Will it be filled with abundant natural resources? Or will it be dark and battered by storms where a lantern is your only source of light? We're so excited to see how players explore all the possibilities that Realm Cards have to offer, and what incredible new destinations they may unlock on their journey. We hope this becomes a gateway for players to discover endless adventures within the world of Nightingale. Thank you for your time. For more information on Realm Cards, head to playnightingale.com. Shadows have offended. Think but this, and all is mended. Proof that you should never trust portals. Nightingale is coming to PC early access in Q4 2022. Okay, world premiere time. Here's the next game from the team that brought you the delightful co-op puzzler, Fogs. That was Tray Racers, which is coming to PC and Nintendo Switch in 2023. Next up, we have an update from our friends at Quali about their growing lineup of PC and console games. Let's see what they've got. Product not yet rated.
That was your first look at Wildmender and Robobeat. What's next, Denise? How about an explosive roguelite where you play as not one, but four blade-wielding badasses? I am so... More amazingly, that was the work of just one developer. Morbid Metal is coming soon to PC. You know, Doug, I think golf is just too relaxing these days. It's like, tee up, hit it onto the green, get a hole in one, all that jazz. It's just too easy. I think I have the perfect solution for you. And it involves disco balls and flying cars. That was Turbo Golf Racing, which is launching into early access on August 4th. There's also a demo available right now on Steam and Xbox, so be sure to check it out after the show. Do you ever feel like you're being watched, Doug? Uh, I mean, we are on a live stream right now. I just feel like my whole life is being directed. Uh, I wouldn't worry about it. Cue the sun! I, I mean, run the trailer. Now in its 55th season, American Arcadia. Broadcast live 24 hours a day, seven days a week on every digital platform. Trevor Hills, welcome to INAX Gemini Towers. You've been working with us for nine years. Welcome to Arcadia, a rare futuristic city where all its citizens enjoy a life of luxury and comfort and aware that they are being broadcast live 24-7. Arcadia is not an ordinary city, but the most watched media phenomenon on the planet, where a drop in popularity comes at the highest cost. Death. What? Gus is dead? What on earth? 
En American Arcadia tenemos dos tipos de gameplay totalmente diferenciados. Por un lado tenemos el side scroller en 2.5D, con acción y plataformeo, persecuciones y, como no, puzzles. Por otro lado, tenemos la jugabilidad en primera persona, con un tono un poco más pausado, que nos lleva a experimentar mecánicas de exploración, sigilo y hacking, usando siempre los puzzles como parte central de la jugabilidad. I need to get close to the cameras and upload the loop footage from my cell phone. But I have to be sure the right video is uploaded to the right camera. We tell the story of two characters. One of them is living inside the uh, Arcadia that is a city where everything is perfect, but it's just a lie. Trevor is just an average person living a mundane life, but the problem is since he's living inside a TV show, that is not interesting for the audience. It doesn't make him popular, the ratings uh, are not working, and the TV show just wants to take rid of him. So when he realizes the, that everything was a lie, his life changes totally. That's the moment when he is going to escape. Subject 10392, turn yourself in or you'll be neutralized. Como ya no sucedió en Call of the Sea, queríamos movernos en, en un mundo que nos resultara evocador. Nos gusta crear mundos sorprendentes, que sean visualmente atractivos y, como he dicho, sobre todo evocadores. Y además nos gusta darles una vuelta, una vuelta de tuerca. Y en este caso hemos elegido una visión bastante brillante y colorida de, de lo que serían los años 70. Los personajes, los ambientes, incluso el mobiliario, representan esta versión utópica y bastante kitsch de una ciudad de los años, de los años 70. What we want to tell to uh, tell is that you don't need to live just for getting likes on, on Instagram or the social networks. Just do the things that make you happy and you don't need to care about what the others think. Control subject on the run on camera 4025. Interrupt broadcast immediately. Thanks to Out of the Blue Games for that exclusive insight into the dark side of reality TV in American Arcadia, which is coming soon. Now, if you've ever wondered what life was like for Optimus Prime before he got famous, then our next trailer has all the answers. What's up, Doug? Oh, my bad. I, I was just booking a trip to Alaska. <laughs> Free gas. We're pleased to announce that a demo for Alaskan Truck Simulator is out now, and the game is coming to PC and consoles in Q4 2022. Hello, everybody. I'm Doug Cockle, though you may know me best from CD Projekt Red's beloved Witcher trilogy. Wait, why are we back at the start? Oh, I've just been playing with this weird device that the developers of our next game sent me. Want me to press this other button and see what it does? No, no. Let's just, uh, roll the trailer. That's sorted. Anything else? Warning. The current temperature of Earth is approaching 100 million degrees Celsius. Oh, great. Puzzles are the most efficient way of generating entropy energy. As an Entropy Center employee, the continued existence of this station and Earth depends on your energy generation.
Okay, so solve puzzle, brain hurts, generate energy, then rewind Earth. Exactly. That was the Entropy Center, which is coming to PC and consoles in 2022. Next up, we've got a special presentation from some incredible Ukrainian developers. Games development can be challenging at the best of times, and with the ongoing conflict, we wanted to highlight and celebrate the incredible work they continue to do. Let's take a look. On February 24 at 5 a.m., our cities were bombed. The war drastically changed game development. During the first months of war, the work on the game was mostly stopped. We sleep in shifts and regular air raid alerts have made us move to our apartment's hallway pretty much permanently. My teammates Ruslan and Ksu have spent a week inside Kharkiv Metro covering from never-ending airstrikes and had to reach the city railway station by underground tunnels to evacuate. Hey everyone, I'm Alex from Weasel Token, an indie duo based in Kyiv, Ukraine. Our current project is a peaceful puzzle adventure called Puzzles for Clef. The story's premise is quite simple. Following an invitation from her sister, a young bunny girl named Clef, travels to the Sky Island of their ancestors to participate in a huge treasure hunt. But of course there would be some interesting twists for those willing to dig deeper. Gameplay-wise, you'll get to explore the island with tons of secrets all over the place, solve a variety of puzzles, befriend cute and whimsical locals. From time to time you'll also need to learn and play some special melodies that influence the world around you. We would really appreciate it if you followed Weasel Token on social media. Twitter, Instagram, Facebook, please wishlist and follow Puzzles for Clef on Steam, that helps a lot. Also join us on our Discord server, we always enjoy talking to our fellow gamers. Hi, my name is Vitaly and I represent Marvel Collective. Together we are working on Zero Losses, a short open world driving game with horror elements and hollow atmosphere. Zero losses is our inevitable reaction to the events surrounding us. While most games about war focus on action and combat, we wanted to bring a different perspective, filled with oppressive dark atmosphere, showcasing the unsettling aftermath of the modern warfare. You can follow us on Twitter and YouTube, look for Marvel Collective. Hi everyone, I'm Marginal Act and I'm working on This Rain Will Never End. This Rain Will Never End is a noir adventure detective point and click game about a cat detective who tried to solve the murder of ex-mayor of the sunny city and also tries to solve the mystery of never-ending downpour. You can subscribe to my social networks, Twitter, Instagram. Also, you can visually This Rain Will Never End. Thank you very much. Glory to Ukraine. Hello world, my name is Andrei Bechkovsky. I'm indie game developer originally from Kyiv. Together with a small team I'm working on a turn-based Mars colony city builder called Farlanders. In my games I'm always trying to make some unique mechanics to stand out. Except for colony building, the core mechanic in the game is terraforming. Also, in the game you can learn new technologies, trade with other colonies and explore underground caves. So to summarize, if Farlanders seems like your cup of tea, which listed on Steam or try out Farlanders Prologue, which is already available for free. Hi, my name is Albert Koner. I am the developer of the indie game Through the Nightmares. Through the Nightmares is a hardcore platformer about someone that travels in the mysterious and frightening world of the children's nightmares. 
the player will have to overcome all children's fears and fight with the almighty god of dreams Morpheus. If you want to support us, visit our Steam page, add the game to your wishlist, play the demo and give us your feedback in any possible way. Head on over to GamesRadar.com for more information on our Games for Ukraine presentation and a list of charities that would welcome your support. If you like the animation series Gravity Falls or Over the Garden Wall, you're going to love our next game. Lost in Play is a puzzle adventure that follows two siblings lost in their own imagination. Lost in Play lands on PC and Nintendo Switch on August 10th, 2022. You know what? We're approaching the midpoint of the show and I could kill for a nice refreshing drink. Is there any Redanian lager lying around? Spoken like a true witcher. <laughs> we don't have any real beer, but this next trailer is sure to quench your thirst. I think that's done the trick. Brewmaster is coming to PC and consoles in 2022 with a demo available right now on Steam. Next, let's check out an exclusive trailer for Bramble, the Mountain King, a puzzle platformer heavily inspired by Nordic folklore. Hello everyone, my name is Eleanor and I'm the lead artist at Dimfrost Studio. And today I will introduce one of our creatures that you'll meet on your journey in Bramble the Mountain King, a grim adventure based on dark Nordic fables. Mekin is just one of our favorite creatures from Nordic folklore, found in cautionary tales meant to scare children from going too close to the water. In Bramble, Mekin is a lonely creature, living in a lake luring people with his music so enchantedly that they would drown. In his past life, he was just a simple man who loved playing his violin. Unfortunately, the village didn't appreciate his talent and people would frequently bully him. The only soul that didn't was a girl that Mekin fell in love with. One day, the bullying and beating became so severe that Nikon's anger finally overtook him. He marched into the village, playing forbidden melodies that made everyone dance until their flesh and bone got worn down. They eventually died, leaving behind shuffling corpses still trying to dance to Nikon's melodies. His love wasn't spared death either. Devastated. Nekin left the town and lived by the lake, drowning in his sorrow, luring people with his deadly music. Nekin is just one of the creatures you'll meet in Bramble the Mountain King. You will meet many more, both big and small, 
good and evil on your journey throughout the beautiful yet deadly world of Bramble. Bramble the Mountain King is coming soon to PC and consoles. Be sure to add Bramble to your wishlist. Thank you for watching. I know a necker when I see one. Bramble the Mountain King is coming soon to PC and consoles. Okay, now I'm no mobster, but I've got an offer that you can't refuse in the form of a world premiere. The world has always been divided into people with money and those who want to get it at any cost. And in the middle of this conflict are also those who just fight on one side or the other. Unknown heroes or villains. Perhaps the right choices can be written on the pages of one story or another. The best way to get rich is sometimes to get remembered. Each single struggle will be the fight for your life as enemy of the state. Enemy of the state is coming to PC and consoles in 2024. Now, we've had so many amazing trailers, but I think it's time for a break. Tea? Coffee? Ale? Oh, I've got something better than tea. You just have to follow me through one of my portals. No need to be afraid, though. We have done this before. Uh, this never ends well for me. Oh my god, where am I? It's so bright. And what's that smell? Lilac and gooseberries? And no, Doug. This is the virtual show floor. Every booth in here has a game attached, with a demo going live after the show. Google Future Games Show Steam to find the dedicated page and try out any of the games you like the look of. Let's go! Just when you thought you'd had enough of being tarnished this year, we've got a fantasy RPG set in the ruins of two divine kingdoms. The Tarnishing of Juxtia features awesome boss battles, high-risk, high-reward combat, and a beautiful score to boot. It's also launching later this year, in summer 2022. What's next, Denise? From one ruined kingdom to another, let's take a look at the grimdark world of Orcs. A blend of tower defense and deck building gameplay, Orcs invites players to fortify castles and expand their territory while fighting against an onslaught of, you guessed it, Orcs. With over 300 cards and four factions to play with, Orcs is coming to PC later this year. Over here, we've got a point-and-click inspired by the LucasArts classics. Let's check in on A Twisted Tale. With hand-drawn backgrounds and a catalogue of comical characters, this old-school adventure will have you giggling and travelling to broken cities, mighty pirate ships, deep jungles, and more. Inspired by games like Slay the Spire and Monster Train, here comes a rock and roll roguelite where players use musical abilities to fend off a mosh pit of monsters. This diverse deck builder is a bona fide battle of the bands where you assemble a team of vicious virtuosos to defend against hordes of demons. Reptilian Rising is a turn-based tactics game where you take on a barbaric horde of lizards and futuristic robot dinosaurs. Fighters from across time are recreated in a retro miniature format, in a true homage to the tabletop style of the 1980s. Reptilian Rising features multiple replayable levels with lots of bonus objectives, and you can also challenge fellow players in online PvP to see which tactician ends up on top. Think less I am the danger and more I am the savior. Potion Permit is a cute chemist simulator from Mass Hive Media. With rich pixel art and a soaring score, you'll gather ingredients to brew precious remedies that help the townsfolk of Moonbury. Pack your satchel because Potion Permit is coming to PC and console in 2022. Next up, we've got a gorgeous rhythm game set in a world where dreams and reality collide. Melatonin from Half Asleep Games Hits players in a pastel world where they must unravel a narrative by engaging in charming challenges complemented by a bouncy, vibrant score. Next up, 
We've got a musical adventure about two best friends trying to make it in the big city. Once Upon a Jester follows Jester and Sock as they try to develop a dynamic, improvisational theater show worthy of the royal theatrical spectacle. Decide your genre, listen to the crowd, and make valuable friends in this handcrafted lo-fi odyssey. If you've ever wanted to play tag in a graveyard full of ghouls, then this game is for you. Bail or Jail is a creepy, cute, asymmetrical multiplayer game from Konami. Players have three minutes to round up runaway humans or escape the grasp of malevolent monsters, each with unique abilities. And that's a wrap on the virtual show floor. Remember to head to the Future Games Show Steam page if you want to play these beauties after the show free of charge. And just one final reminder that you can Google Future Games Show Steam to download all those demos after the show. Winds howling. I think that means there's another world premiere on the horizon. Peggy 18. That was your first look at Sunday Gold, which is coming in 2022. Our next game is coming to VR platforms, but I doubt you'll be able to keep your fancy headsets on for too long when you're playing. Let's take a look. ¿Qué está pasando aquí? Han, ¿dónde estás? Papá. Julia, espera. Esta es mi casa, pero tal vez no lo es. I'll pick hide, please. Do Not Open is coming to VR platforms in fall 2022. Now it's time for an update on Bright Memory Infinite, FYQD Studios' hectic shooter. Shelia, according to info from the front lines, General Lin's unit has arrived at the scene. General Lin? The top dog in SAI. They say that tech-wise, even we here at SRO can't hold a candle to these guys. Roger. I'll move cautiously. It's been a while, Shelia. To think we'd meet like this. Once it's all been poured out, a new world will be born. But you're too late. 
Once I finish pouring this primordial flood over Earth, the black hole will change the world. Shelly, respond. What happened? Shelly! Bright Memory Infinite is out now on PC and is coming soon to PlayStation, Xbox, and Nintendo Switch. Next up, we've got a gothic horror Metroidvania that looks like a pixely version of Bloodborne. Let's check it out. The Last Faith is coming to PC and consoles in 2022. Now, let's check in with our friends from Team 17, who have a montage of exciting upcoming games to show us. Peggy 18. Let's move on straight to our deceased. Well, who do we have here today?
Be sure to wishlist any games that stood out and you can read more about them on gamesradar.com. Have you ever wondered what the bugs in your house are doing when you're out? Not really. Probably just making a mess? You'd be surprised. Try complex governmental structures and organized religion. At least that's the brief I've got for Tinykin, which is up next. Welcome to the fascinating world of Tinykin. Tinykin are extraordinary little creatures. Alone, they rarely pose a threat. But in great numbers, they are exemplary. Look, here's some now. Ah, the purple tiny kid. Extremely powerful despite their small stature. Look here, green tiny kid. Extremely resourceful in reaching daring new heights. Stand back, unless you want a blue tinykin to zap you with a powerful electric current. And that's everything. Wait, what's this? Well, look, there's Daniel, a red tinykin, adorable, with an immensely fiery temper. Tinykin is coming to PC, PlayStation, Xbox, and Nintendo Switch. You know when you're finished cleaning, but you realize you missed a bunch of crumbs? It's like, just when I thought I was out, they pull me back in. Yeah, it's like when the boss orders a hit and you've got to go clean it up after hours. Yeah. Mm, sort of. Maybe this next game is for you. Four people sharing a table on a New Year's Eve. A plate full of troubling memories. And a bitter taste of regret. Mother, should I run for president? 505 Games and Draw Distance are proud to present Serial Cleaners. Story of loyalty, betrayal, and crime. Lots of crime. The past they share is all that stands in the way of redemption. If you remember the 90s differently, their dirty work is the reason why. So that's how you get wine out of a carpet. Serial Cleaners is launching in September on PC, Nintendo Switch, PlayStation and Xbox. Do you ever miss taking your shoes off in front of strangers and spending your life savings on a cup of coffee? And boy, do we have the simulator for you.
Don't forget to renew your passport because Airport Simulator is coming in to land on PC and Xbox Series X and S in 2023. Let's break things up with our Ones to Watch montage. Keep your eyes peeled for several exciting games that are coming in the near future and check out this awesome bespoke introduction from the team behind Inculinati. Did any of those games turn your head? Check out GamesRadar.com for more information. Next up, we've got a new game from the minds behind Happy Game Amanita Design. In Phonopolis, you'll help Felix solve playful puzzles in an avant-garde fiberboard city. We couldn't quite work out how either, but what you're about to see is actual gameplay. That was Phanopolis, which is coming soon. Now we've got a subterranean roguelike where you play as a lucid dreamer in a world of endless slumber. Please, please grant us protection from that hideous strength. It casts a shadow as endless as the dream. We all wither within its shade, succumbing to all manner of desire willed into being by the dream. Those who refuse to slake such corrupt thirst are cast into the depths to languish in solitude. Until a voice, strong and sure as their own, whispers in their ear. This dream is ours. You need only ask for what you desire to will it into being. A safe return? A better world? Simply ass. Why must you vex me so? A lost lamb requires a shepherd. What manner of shepherd are you, wolf? Down here? The only one around. Don't sleep on being and becoming. Which is... <laughs> becoming soon to PC. Our next game follows a pilot who crash lands in the Arctic after his plane is chopped in half by mysterious forces. But he also has a court-mandated therapy robot called Alfie. Every cloud, right? Hello, Kai. I 
thought you could use some company up here. Yeah, not really. I'm good. Hey, drone. We got promotion. I must have unexpectedly powered off. Yeah, so did I. I do want to help in any way I can, Kai. You can help by staying out of it. Oh, get out of here! Hello, Kai. Hey, you out there? Oh, thank God. I thought I'd lost you. Was that Donovan I heard on the radio? What, you're spying on me now? I got it covered, Boy Scout. Landed by some big ass silos. A power station, maybe? Wait, power station? Out here? Hey, Donovan. Donovan, you copy? No thermal vision, no lasers, no useful functions whatsoever. Can you do anything to actually help? I am happy to talk it through with you. Uh, Doug, it's your line again? Oh, sorry. I'm just canceling that trip to Alaska. That was Arctic Awakening, which is coming to PC, Mac, and consoles in 2023. We've had a lot of fast-paced games in this showcase, but none quite as quick as our next trailer. Let's stay on track and check this one out. This is not a challenge for the faint-hearted, where the 20 best drivers in the world come together to take on some of the world's most historic circuits. And that legacy continues today. It's lights out, and away we go! I love power, I love power. Just stay in the car for a second. There's not much in it at the front, with the two cars constantly vying for first place. It's a thrilling battle with neither driver giving an inch. We might still be early in the season, but that doesn't mean we can sit back and relax. Everything is up for grabs, and nothing is certain at this stage. Here we go with the Azerbaijan Grand Prix. I think we should be satisfied with uh, the step we've done at least here. Oh no, it's a spin! Really? Good luck. yourselves in. This is Formula One. Who wants to be in the driver's seat when you can be in the driver's driver's seat? Anyway, don't forget to tune into the PC Gaming Show to see the first gameplay from F1 Manager, which is racing onto PC, PlayStation, and Xbox on August 25th, 2022. Put your dukes up, folks, because this next game is a certified DKO. Wait, what does that mean? Uh, divine knockout, Doug. Duh. That was Divine Knockout, which is coming soon. 
Our next game is an adventure epic where you navigate a world full of tricky puzzles with the help of your robo friend. It's true that behind every main character, there's a smart, talented companion to help them get through it all. Denise, are you referring to Yennefer? Well, if the shoe fits, here's Planet of Lana. Ima. <laughs> Hola, Imui. <laughs> Planet of Lana is coming to PC and Xbox in 2022. This next reveal is a pretty big deal. No spoilers, but let's just say I really didn't see this one coming. skills to the test. Deadly Premonition 2 is out now on PC. That's right, now, today, this second. Go check it out. Based on the notes on my script, it looks like the producers were struggling for jokes on this one. There's something about Geralt hunting a Moomin. Honestly, it's not even worth it. This trailer is adorable and I just need you all to see it.
Aku Snufkin, Melody of Moomin Valley is coming to PC and consoles in 2023 with a soundtrack from Icelandic post-rock band Sigur Ross. Last but not least, we've got a brand new multiplayer survival game that fans of Pokemon are sure to enjoy. Let's check it out. Can't wait to check that one out. Well, it looks like we're at the end of the show. It's been an honor, Doug. Mm. Check the back of your script. I think we missed something. Okay. Do you also have one more thing written in blood? Is that normal? Yes, I do. And no, this is not normal. I'm going to go sharpen my silver sword. Now that really is the end of our show, but remember to try out all the demos on our future game show Steam page and head on over to gamesradar.com for more follow-up coverage on all of the games that you've seen today. I'd like to say a big thank you to everyone involved in this year's future games show powered by MANA and of course you guys watching at home. I'm Doug Cockle. And I'm Denise Goff. And, and this, this has, has been, been the Future, future Games Show June 2022. 2022. It's lights out and away we go!
Mana is the gaming rewards debit card that puts the power back in the hands of players. So with every quest you complete and every purchase you make, you're earning for the rewards you actually want. We make it easy for you to set up and start. Just sync your favorite games to your Mana account and start earning real life rewards the next time you play. So why pay any other way? Pay with Mana. Pay with power. Mana. Game the system.
Thank you.